Turkey is going mad for OK. It's a traditional board game with rules similar to the card game Rummy. People play it everywhere. Some cafes even have special OK tables. Now there are digital versions too. Ilker Karadag works in a hotel in central Istanbul. During his breaks, the 28-year-old plays OK on his iPad. If I don't have any work, I am playing uh, OK. Because uh, OK is a good uh, game uh, for the social networks. And, uh, and we are meeting some uh, other friends. You can talk, uh, you have chat. This is the trendy Istanbul district of Beyalu, where Peak Games has its headquarters. The company makes free online games. One of their creations is currently the most popular digital version of OK. Rina Onur's company is one of the top 10 companies in the world in this field. It specializes in developing traditional games for modern devices. We specialize in what we call um, culturally relevant multiplayer synchronous games. An example to this would be our flagship title, OK Plus, uh, which is a game um, that's very, very popular in Turkey. The global leaders in the industry are Zynga, King, and Wuga. Their strategy is to come up with games that have universal appeal. But Peak Games focuses on gamers from specific areas. In particular, Turkey, the Middle East, and North Africa. Cowboys, or G.I. Joes, might appeal to Americans, but they're not going to appeal to people here who are not going to know what it is. Um, they're going to want to have their own cowboys, their own version of that. Or maybe they're not as interested in poker, but they're going to be interested in, um, you know, this, this uh, Arabic card game called Balut, which is the most popular game in Saudi Arabia. Muslim countries are growth markets for peak games. The Turkish population currently has an average age of around 30. More than 67 million people have cell phones, and many of those use their phones to access the Internet. About 70% of Internet users play online games. There's a lot of young power, almost like the, imagine the baby boomers of the United States. I think this has been happening here for a long, long time. As Europe is getting older, we're getting younger. Saudi Arabia is an important market for Peak Games. The company has even bought a development studio there. It's not just about the gameplay. In countries like Saudi Arabia, the chat function on games allows users to meet new people. If you think about the West, uh, it's very easy for males and females to interact, to meet each other, go to a bar or a cafe, get a drink, and just meet there and have a meaningful conversation and then a relationship afterwards. It's not as common for that to happen, especially in the Arabic-speaking region. So these games and platforms um, offer them an opportunity to either talk anonymously or, you know, not non-anonymously and have a conversation without being judged. For gamers like Ilkar Karadag, though, it's just a great way to pass the time when he's not hard at work. Shift says, it's a great way to keep traditions alive. <laughs>